Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's day one of the Gumball 3000 Middle East 2022, the 23rd Gumball 3000. We're about to get started for the first driving day. We're joining in a Manhart TR900 Porsche GT2 RS with almost a thousand horsepower waiting just down here. We've seen the complete start of the rally with all of the cars getting underway, but it's about to be time for us to join. Come with us along the start line to our checkpoint in the desert towards Oman. Let's do this. Gumball 3000 here in the Middle East in Dubai. The last cars are all behind us. Only about three or four more cars to actually go. The grid is now empty, but we're driving in this monster, the Manhart TR900 Porsche GT2 RS with nearly a thousand horsepower. They've gone up from the stock 700 to 945, 750 Newton meters up to 1,050 Newton meters. All of the exterior carbon, as you can see from Manhart, the splitter, the surrounds here for the intakes, everything looking absolutely epic. There's a guy at a Super Trofeo Stradale that's been coming on through as well, but it's time for us to hop in so let's do so let's get this started let's get on the road and let's drive leg one of the gumball 3000 all right let's do this we're right at the back then let's get this started up here we go sounds powerful sounds mean we're going to need the ac blasting it is boiling here but it's time to go out and drive the gumball 3000 here we go into gear ac please up <laughs> the power right Let's go, let's drive on out, let's do this. Behind the Super Trofeo Stradale. Hey guys, <laughs> I can't rev it, the engine's still cold. Actually, it's not that cold, it's, it's been uh, warmed up sitting in the queue. But this is where, if you press PDK Sport and open the exhaust, things get a little bit louder. How's it going? <laughs> Ooh, thank you. Ooh. I am absolutely boiling, you have no idea, but today we're heading out to the desert for a lunch checkpoint, then we're going to be going from there towards the Oman border, where I'll tell you a little bit more about what's going to be coming up next. How you doing guys, how's it going? <laughs> this is so, so crazy, we've been watching all of the cars going, the full start of the 23rd Gumball 3000. This rally loops around across Oman and comes back towards Abu Dhabi for the Formula One Grand Prix at the end of it all. Alrighty, it's time to go. We'll see you next time. See you. See you in Cheers. Europe next year. <laughs> we met at the start in Toronto. He's chased over here as well for the second rally of this year to come to this start also. And finally coming to Europe to celebrate your birthday. So, How wow. How does it feel to be celebrating out here in the Middle East? Oh my God. Listen, <laughs> one of our favorite, favorite rally drivers. That sounds like you're driving a car that you're trying to win in, yeah? Well, you know, we started off easy. We gave people a head start. We'll see what happens now. <laughs> Lucky you are, gentlemen, giving everyone a head start. Shmi, listen, thank you very much for being on board Pleasure. today. Epic. <laughs> so here we are. Hey, uh, everyone says rev, but this is not the loudest car. We've driven under the start line. We'll give a bit of a rev, but it's not the loudest car in the world. <laughs> I'm not as loud as the Lambos, like the Super Trofeo Stradale in front of us, one of the final versions, iterations of the Gallardo. Hey guys, thank you so much. Wow, what a turnout, what a cool start here in Dubai, braving the heat for this. But we're now in a little group because we're going to be departing with the Dubai Police Supercars. <laughs> the only car behind us, if you can see, is a Lexus drift car, which has been part of the show. We are at the back which is quite fun. Give everybody an opportunity to get ahead, hey? We're gonna be playing catch up from here. No, it's not a race, it's a rally, as Max always says. But here we go, making our way out with the crowd who have patiently waited Cheers, and bravely, yeah. hey guys. <laughs> this is so crazy. We're gonna to have to do some work to catch up with everybody in front of us though. Cheers. Hey guys. <laughs> wow, thank you everyone who's here. Oh, can we reach? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. No drifting, no burnouts, nothing like that today. But we've had the flares, we've had the confetti cannons. I think that's the... Uh... Oh, that's loud, the Lexus behind drifting. or well, not drifting, but at least revving. Obviously, that thing's set up for a completely different purpose to cars like this. Thankfully, we do have a lift system. I can press the button. We're going to be able to make it over anything uh, difficult on the way back out of here. Well, we drove in after registration, or before registration, I should say, as part of registration, arguably. But now, ready for the leg ahead. I wonder which police car is going to be leading the route for us, but we shall see in a second. 
<laughs> All right, up we go this way. So um, let's see which way this is going to take us because I'm well aware that quite a few of the cars in front aren't driving the entire rally and will peel off after the first 10, 15 minutes or so. And then we're basically going to be left to our own devices to try and work out where exactly we're going. But it's really cool to follow a Super Trofeo Stradale because it was a while back, in fact, nearly 10 years ago that here in Dubai, I joined with my friend Stig's Persian cousin to film with his red Super Trofeo Stradale that I've since driven because it sounds basically like a machine gun now um, out in California. He's had that car all around the world. But yeah, here we are out onto the roads in Dubai. It's rally time. Off we go. Let's do this. <laughs> These guys are already having a luggage swap around. Okay, that's kind of funny. Got the bumps here. I don't really know what we're doing, where we're going, how this is working. We'll play it by ear and hopefully it will all kind of come together. Oh, look at this. We've caught up with the Chiron and the LaFerrari and the C63 and the Koenigsegg. Oh, it could not be better. It could not be better. Now that's a convoy to depart out of Dubai with. Now this is cool, isn't it? This is really cool. What a line of cars. We're coming up towards the Dubai Mall. All right, let's squeeze through here. It's gotta be done. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> We're on the road with a Chiron Super Sport, a Koenigsegg and a LaFerrari Aperta. This is unreal. This is absolutely unreal. What an insane convoy <laughs> to set off from Dubai. This is where we have to join in effectively one line. Um, we have to go behind the Chiron Super Sport, I think. There we go. How often are you following a Bugatti Chiron Super Sport on the roads of Dubai? I say that in Dubai probably more than in other places. So it's about half an hour to our lunch checkpoint, but you can guarantee we're going to go on a little sightseeing tour and it'll take a bit longer than that. So let's see what we can do here with all of the normal traffic that's around us as well. Oh my goodness. Welcome to Dubai. Just need to tuck into the right lane here. They're adamant that we all go in single file. Thanks to the police for the escort parade group drive out of Dubai's downtown district. Oh, look up ahead at the Koenigsegg and the LaFerrari Aperta. That's a bit silly. This car is a bit silly. <laughs> yes, I can confirm. I can confirm that even a very small acceleration in here at low RPMs is still plenty silly. This is just ridiculous. We're driving Shaker Zayed Road in the Gumball 3000 convoy. Wow, the Chiron was off there. Absolutely off like a rocket. I'm loving the noises of this thing. Of course, I only drove it a kilometer from the hotel over to the grid. I think maybe 1.4 kilometers or something like that. So this is the first opportunity really to actually drive the car and get a little feel for what it's like as we get this journey underway on what is now, believe it or not, my eighth time on the Gumball 3000. The first one was way back in 2012. The first one I drove on. Look at this, look at this view. Look at that view, that trio of cars. That's not normal. It's not a normal view on a car rally. What is really interesting is how, as this car warms up, the bangs and cracks it makes are just getting sillier and sillier. Listen to this. <laughs> it's funny. We've got a little bit separated from what's happening up in front of us at the moment, although maybe we can squeeze around. We've actually got a police car right behind for the Escort as well, as we are following that lovely C63 Black Series. Just gonna work out where exactly we're going. We can dip through here. How fun is this? Being police escorted out of Dubai in an unbelievable hypercar convoy on Gumball. It reminds me of leaving Los Angeles on Gumball 2015. Been lucky to do a few of these and to have done a few unbelievable things along the way. It's 
just awesome. Here we are at the checkpoint, all of the cars parked up in formation here. Some of the cars just over towards the side for our checkpoint where we're going to be taking shuttles out into the desert. At the moment, everything's still pretty clean, although it's probably not going to stay that way as this rally goes on, especially with all of the dust and sand around. But yes, Bugatti Chiron, amongst others, here in this grid lineup. It's so awesome. When you see cars stick it up on their own, it always looks a little bit odd. But when you come to something like this and you see them all matching, it's that sense of the team all being together just mega to see, especially all the colours and the designs and the matching sticker sets. Although fewer cars wrapped in liveries and designs than we often see on the Gumball 3000 uh, compared to normal, but certainly lots of brightly coloured cars. And so we have Mark Philip Gambala's Martian, the Martian just pulling in over there. The car most suited to this kind of terrain, I think I can say, literally. It looks right at home going across the sand absolutely at home very cool <laughs> love it how you doing mark good drive got to inflate the tires oh you're going out into the desert with it no we just came oh you just came from the desert yeah. okay hence softened that makes sense awesome good it's cool to see you guys driving this thing all right how you been all good just all right. tired and hot today but loving it our shuttle out into the desert keeping on the path we're being overtaken. It's the race through the desert. He's winning. We've arrived where Team Japan are having camel rides. But this is our spot for the lunch today. How it's lovely. This is now vlog triception. Hey, I've been trying to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like you, Dave. Don't leave me hanging. Don't leave me hanging. Oh, I won't. Boom. I was told to get on here with you. So, okay, good luck. Hey, bro. I'm sorry. Man. You're, this you're, is, you're, this is going to be this a heavy payload. Blame this guy. Yeah. This is for the sheriff, <laughs> it is not. You're not happy. All right, man. <laughs> I'm not joking. He was yelling. Yeah, because he's. On I'm going to spectate. I'm going to spectate. Whoa! 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 But hey, off they go. I'm going to go and have some lunch though because we just got here being one of the last to the checkpoint stop with everybody seated around. Right, going to grab a drink, go get some food, enjoy the rest. We've made it back to the car park. All of the patrols and land cruisers have been getting us back and forth to the destination. These all have deflated tyres for the purpose. But we now have a significantly less busy grid as all of the cars get ready to head onwards from here fascinating to see how quickly actually all of that's happened by being at the back of the grid we've kind of missed everything by the time we've had a super quick stop for lunch and a bite to eat but they head on from here and it's going to be a slightly different path for us in fact so let's watch some of the last cars heading out and then i shall explain all cars heading out i'm gonna watch basically the last of the grid departing sun is already starting to set of course being winter time i'm being beckoned over beckoned over by mr dde I paid twenty-five thousand dollars for this. For that? And I did not do this. That's how I got it. Oh, mate, that's quite dusty. That is one <laughs> that's of those more than like dusty. desert finds. You just gave you know? the most diplomatic answer out of anyone here. I'm British. It's what we do. <laughs> what did you just call it? I called it dusty. It's a little dusty. I'm going to call it a claim scene. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. If it's this dusty, it'll blow off. <laughs> mate, well, we're You're not blowing hard that. enough. Just no, look at that. <laughs> yeah, just one Polish Oh, oh, you can really see how so dusty there's, it is. So there's proof they could have cleaned it. That is rough. <laughs> Look at this thing. Should we all clean like a... <laughs> no. Yeah, you know what, at this point, I'm just at a Consigned place where it. I'm like... Actually, from afar, it looks, it looks good. It looks a cool car. From the other oh. side of the parking lot? The 812 GTS is heading off. Team 36, closely followed by the Wraith. I like the yellow accents around the grill. Team 35's. Wraith matching the yellow interior on that. And some last minute checkovers here for JWW and DDE before they're going to be getting on the road as well. Time to go, DDE boys. Followed by the Aventador, followed by the Evolution E Type that James has recently acquired and is driving out here. I think they're all going in a second, perhaps. Up they go. Alrighty. Roll out time. Roll out, roll out, roll out. Hands door following.
There are still a few cars awaiting their departure, but that's actually going to be it for us until a few days time. Let me explain what I mean. We have waved off the gumballers to continue their leg into Oman for today, but we're actually going to be taking a rest over the next couple of days. You might have seen the videos recently all around the US before flying to London to collect the GT500, before flying straight out here yesterday to get registered for gumball, to enjoy the drive today with the full start in the heat. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit tired. I need a rest. I need a rest. So we're going to chill just for the next couple of days. I'm sorry that we can't make it into Oman. And I do actually have a few other commitments and things that I need to do in Dubai as well, which are going to take up the time. So we'll be catching up with Gumball again in a couple of days time, effectively missing just day two, three, and see where we're at as the rally continues before the final stages as well. So I hope you can understand that. I'm sorry it's a little bit of a shock. It is my eighth time on the rally. It's always amazing. And today has been unreal to start in Dubai, but with the heat and the high levels of exhaustion, exhaustion it's just a bit too much and sometimes I have to be a little bit sensible about these things just a little bit as you could probably appreciate so for today that is all I'm sure the rally is going to be amazing over the next couple of days I'm very envious of those who will be enjoying it but I hope you've enjoyed the coverage up to this point and there will be more in the coming days so do stay tuned that's it for now though thank you very much for your support as always guys so cool to meet so many of you at the start line it was super busy seeing all of the cars setting off and then to drive on the first leg ourselves with some of the hypercars from the space some of the other supercars here as well and of course driving in the Manhart TR900, that epic GT2 RS. That's it for now though. Thanks again, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers.